One of the big opportunities we got to build a hospital from scratch was the ability to look across the United Kingdom and across, indeed, uh, North America and Europe about what was it that, that provided high-quality patient-centred care. And we were able to uh, take that learning, engage with the local community and try and bring something that reflects Glasgow and the west of Scotland uh, uh, to, to this new facility. To, at the moment, the big, uh, the big sense of achievement is the fact that we're able to improve services for patients, we're able to develop new services, and we're able to give our staff a whole set of new facilities that uh, will allow us to take healthcare forward in an ever-changing world over the next 20, 30 years. I was here about six weeks ago when we came for look -see and it just looked fantastic. To be in a bright, new, open space like this was fabulous. Love all these bright colours. I was overwhelmed by the sheer size of it, but it's so light and airy and it's a beautiful building. Uh, the facilities are just fantastic, so it's, it's going to be a great place. It's lovely, the design and the, the colours and that are beautiful. It's a lot better than any other hospital I've seen before, so it's really, really nice. <laughs> One of the big changes that we debated going into this millennium was the separation out of ambulatory care, same day care, from unscheduled care and from complex uh, elective surgery. And the new adult hospital is exactly designed around that. It's about bringing all of the specialists together so that they can interact with you in instantaneously when you arrive here and they are supported by the facilities to meet your every need. So it has the, the biggest critical care unit in the United Kingdom. It has uh, as a complex, this, this whole complex has in excess of 30 theatres. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a huge complex. Just within here, when you look up and you, you see all these, these pods and the nice brightness of the sanctuary out there um, and the children's hospital and the brightness there and how all the colours and things for children to do, it's just, it's just fantastic. It's fresh, it's exciting, it's not doom and gloom, which hospitals can be depressing and this, this is very definitely not depressing, it's lovely. As the patients will then go onto the wards, they'll notice a completely different experience where every patient has their single room, superb view, even entertainment within every room, but also receiving the same first-class care they got from their doctors and the nurses when they were in their local hospitals. Well, the Children's Hospital has been designed not only with uh, a significant proportion of single rooms, but, but family rooms. So in all of the, the children's bedrooms, there are pull-down beds uh, for members of the family to stay with the child. On each of the ward floors, there is a family breakout area, a space where you can get away from potentially the stress of your, of your child's illness and, and hopefully positive recovery uh, and get some time out, make yourself a cup of coffee, have a sandwich, watch a bit of television and just relax. With any building like this it's the, the doctors, the nurses, the allied health professionals that work with the patients and I think that this building really gives us the optimum surroundings in which to deliver the best possible care for patients. I think the eyes of the world are looking on us and I think everybody's looking at you how lucky we are. The building is massive, it's really big, it's beautiful. As the patients will walk in, they'll notice there's huge use of natural light. It's bright, it's wide spaced. It's a first, isn't it? Uh, it's a uh -huh, first. We yeah. have so many new systems, processes, pieces of equipment, and it's just very, very exciting to be involved mm -hmm. in it for everybody. The helipad means that as, as air ambulance becomes a much greater part of roadside and, and uh, you know, sort of emergency triage, we can bring you to this hospital from across the west of Scotland. From the helipad, you have an express lift that takes you straight either to A&E or critical care or the emergency theatre suite. And you are immediately met by a consultant-led team who are on duty, not on call, not requiring to come in, but actually on duty. There's a whole series of corridors which are only for the staff to uh, support the hospital, be it the transfer of meals, linen, uh, TSSU um, or, or other supplies. And then having created that environment, we were then able to take advantage of, uh, of modern technology and bring in these automated guided vehicles, the, the robots as they're referred to. I mean, these vehicles are basically small tug-like motors in appearance and they can take up to half a tonne.
I mean, one of uh, the other big changes that we're bringing on the site is we've been able, in partnership with uh, particularly Glasgow University Medical School, but also with the, the higher education institutes in, in the city and beyond, we've been able to bring onto this site a whole series of uh, clinical academic departments and uh, clinical research facilities. So we have uh, increased the size of the teaching and learning centre, it's a, it's a joint endeavour. Uh, the university has built the Scottish Stratified Medicine uh, Institute on the fourth floor of that building. It's, it's one of the, the first in the United Kingdom and will be leading edge in relation to stratified medicine. We've jointly created one of the biggest clinical research facilities, certainly in Scotland. And the university have just uh, moved forward in developing a new institute of clinical imaging, which will be a new building on the site, which will house some of the most modern imaging technology in the United Kingdom. I think the main atrium downstairs is fantastic for patients coming in. The new technologies that we've got, we've got self-check-in which gives patients a bit of independence in checking themselves in. It would be interesting to see what the patients are saying when they're walking in, into this facility and it's already buzzing with, with activity. The thing that I think is going to make this hospital great is just the staff and the doctors and the, the nurses and stuff inside it and the nurses you deal with and the, the wards. Uh, just when I was over on the old part of the hospital they were really helpful and nice and welcoming so if they're going to be the same here and it'll make it really, really good. So already we're encouraging different clinics in the eye department. Um, we've got a new thyroid clinic that's being set up, we've got endocrinologists, we've got more space to accommodate a bigger team where we can actually do one-stop clinics, so the progress is huge. I am quite pleased that this is a shining beacon for Scotland to show the world really, and I, all along I've felt that the people of Glasgow deserve a 21st century hospital, and this is us delivering the 21st century hospital to them. For me, I think it's perfect the way it is. Yeah, just, it's just perfect the way it is. If something would beat this, then, well, we'll see. Well, I don't think so. This is top-notch.